What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a go at creating the album cover for Atlas, an album by FM84. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Go to file and new. Width 700 pixels, height 700 pixels, background contents transparent. Click OK. Go to your gradient tool. Double click in the gradient thumbnail at the top of your screen. Choose a gradient with two colours. I'm going to go for the red and green one. Select the colour stop to the left. Double click on the colour box next to the word colour. In the colour code box at the bottom, enter 2C1E3F. Click OK. Now select the second colour, the one to the right. Enter the code 32264E. Click OK. Click OK once more. Rename this layer Background. Ensure that your gradient has 100% opacity. Go to the top of your canvas. Hold Shift on your keyboard. Left click. Hold your mouse button as you drag the cursor down to the bottom side. Let go of the left mouse button at the bottom. Let go of Shift. Go to create a new layer. Press Shift and Backspace with this new layer selected. Fill the layer with black. Click OK. Go to Filter, Noise and Add Noise. Set the amount to 24, distribution Gaussian and monochromatic. Click OK. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 2 pixels. Click OK. Go to Adjustments and Levels. Set the black stop to 34 the grey to 1.49 and the white to 54. Click back on your layers option again. Hold control and select the levels layer and the black layer with the star patterns inside. For Mac users, ensure that you use command instead of control and option instead of alt. Right click on your two selected layers and go to merge layers. Go to your blending option, change from normal to lighten. Go to edit, preferences and guides, grid and slices. Set the grid to light grey so that's easy to see. Grid line every 220 pixels with 10 subdivisions style lines. Click OK. Go to View, Show and Grid. The grid line should be 32 blocks wide and 32 high. With your merged levels 1 layer still selected, press Ctrl and T on your keyboard to select the free transform tool. Go to View and ensure that Snap is ticked. Hold Shift on your keyboard, left click in one of the corners Hold your mouse button down as you resize the layer so that it is a quarter of your canvas size. Let go of your left mouse button, let go of shift. Press enter on your keyboard. Go to your levels one layer, right click and go to duplicate layer. Click OK. Select your move tool, hold shift and drag the new layer upwards so that it fits in to the top 16 blocks of your canvas. Go to Edit, Transform and Flip Horizontal. Duplicate the star layer once more, this time moving the new layer to the top right corner and flip vertically. 
move the star layer to the bottom right corner of the screen and go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. This should create a set of small stars on your canvas. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Sun. Go to your Shape tool, select Ellipse tool. Go to Window and ensure that your Info window is open. Now move your cursor inwards to the centre of the screen, sideways by 16 blocks. Hold Shift on your keyboard, left click right in the middle of your canvas, drag your cursor outwards Using your info window, the size of your circle should be roughly 18.6. There should be roughly four blocks separating your circle from the edge of your canvas. Let go of your left mouse button, let go of shift. Right click on your sun layer and choose rasterize layer. Hold control and select your previous level layers, right click and go to Merge Layers. Rename this Stars. Change the Blending option to Lighten. Hold Control and left click on the Sun Layer thumbnail. Go to create a new layer. Go to your Gradient tool. For your first colour, the code you want on the left colour stop will be FFFE3A. And for the colour stop on the right, the code you will want is 9B1A5A. Inside your new layer, drag your mouse cursor to the top of your screen, hold shift left click on the selection line, drag your mouse cursor to the bottom line, let go of your mouse button, let go of shift. Press Ctrl and D to deselect left click on the sun layer, press delete. Select your new gradient sun pattern. Go to create a new layer. Press shift and backspace. Fill the contents of your new layer with the colour black. Go to filter, noise and add noise. This time set the percentage to 4 Distribution Gaussian, Monochromatic, click OK. Right click on the top layer with the faint stars and choose Create Clipping Mask. Go to your Blending Options, change from Normal to Color Dodge. Hold Control, left click on the top Clipping Mask layer and the Sun Pattern. Right click and merge layers together. Rename this layer Sun. Double left click to the right of Sun to open up Layer Style. Choose Outer Glow. Double click on the color option inside the structure box. Insert the code 9B1A5A. Click OK. Blend Mode Normal, Opacity 75%, Noise 0, Technique Softer, Spread 14%, Size 46, Range 50. Click OK. Go to View, Show and make sure that your grid is ticked once more. Go to select your Rectangular Marquee tool. Go to View and ensure that snap is unticked. Go 13 blocks down from the top of your canvas. Left click on the line underneath the 13th block down. Hold your mouse button down, drag down by half a block and drag your mouse cursor across to the other side of the page. Let go of your left mouse button when you're on the other side. Press delete. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Left click on the 15th line, 
drag your mouse cursor to the right to the far side and drag the cursor up by roughly half a block once more. Let go of your left mouse button, press delete, drag your mouse cursor down by a further two blocks, move your mouse cursor up slightly by about a quarter of the block, left click, drag your mouse cursor to the side once more, drag your mouse cursor up just before the 16th line, press delete, Control and D. From this line, drag your mouse cursor down just before the start of the next line down. Left click, drag your mouse cursor to the side again, highlighting roughly a selection half a block high. Press Delete. Press Control and D. Coming away from the gap now, move two blocks down. Left click, drag your mouse up just before the previous line and drag across. Press delete. With the marquee tool still selected, left click inside the section, drag it down by one block, then drag it down again. Ensure that part of the top of the selection doesn't cross this line here. Press delete. Left click inside the selection once more, drag it down to the next block, then move the selection slightly over the next line, like so. Press delete once more. Left click and drag the selection down once more. Ensure that the top of the selection doesn't cross the second line here. Press delete. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Drag your mouse cursor to the bottom of your canvas. Move your mouse cursor up by six and a half lines. Make a selection of the bottom part of your sun. Press delete. Go to create a new layer. Inside your new layer, with the marquee tool still selected, left click in one of the corners, drag your mouse cursor up by five blocks. Drag the mouse cursor to the other side of your canvas. Shift and backspace. Choose color from the fill options. Enter the code 4659A6. Click OK. Click OK again. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to your line tool. Select the weight as two pixels. Double click on the color box and enter the code E67470. Click OK. Go to the top of your fifth block from the bottom of your grid. Left click, hold shift and drag your mouse cursor to the opposite side of the page. Let go of your left mouse button when you're on the other side. Right click on your shape layer, select duplicate layer. Click OK. With your shape copy layer selected, hold shift, left click on the shape, drag the shape down. Ensure that the space between the two lines is roughly the same size of two lines placed together vertically. Hold control and left click on both shape layers. Right click and merge layers together. Right click on the shape copy and duplicate layer. Click OK. Hold shift and left click on the shape copy, drag it down. Ensure that the space between each of the lines is roughly the same. Repeat this process until you have 10 lines all together. Hold control and left click on all of the shape layers plus the blue rectangle layer we created underneath the lines. Right click on the selection and choose merge layers. Go to your eraser tool, set the size to 530 pixels, soft round, opacity 100%, flow 100%. The top of your circle should be in line with the fifth line up on your grid. The top right section of your eraser circle should be touching the ninth grid line across from the left of your canvas. Left click 
four times. Repeat the same process in the bottom right corner. Five blocks up on the grid, fly, five blocks up, nine blocks to the left on your grid. Left click four times. Go to select your stars layer. Move your eraser tool back to the same position it was when you were erasing the lines and the blue rectangle. Only this time, left click twice on your stars layer. Repeat on the opposite side. Left click twice, five blocks up, nine blocks to the side. Rename the shape layer lines. Go to your text tool, left click in the top left corner of your canvas. The font style you want is Sego UI Historic, regular, 30 point, crisp and white. Type in the name you want to have appear. Select your move tool, drag your label so that it is approximately one and a half blocks from the top and one and a half blocks from the side in the top left corner. You can now go to view, show and grid. I'm going to zoom out once more and return to the lines layer using the eraser tool with the size 453 brush and soft round opacity 100% and flow 100% with the top side of my eraser circle touching the 10th line in my lines layer and the center of my eraser circle parallel with the corner of the sun, I'm going to left click once on either side to make the line effect fade more. Go to create a new layer above lines. Select your brush tool Brush size should be 500 pixels, opacity 100%, flow 100%, soft round. Brush color should be FF2D9E. With the top of your brush circle just above the last purple line towards the top of your sun, left click once on either side. Go to the blending options and choose darken. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel please like and subscribe, join me soon for another video, take care.